So in 2013, I was a manager at a store and the couple that I was taking care of um, shared with me the story of their son who had passed away and how they had actively become involved in the HLA registry. So, um, and also at the same time, one of my coworkers, his daughter was 15 and had been diagnosed with leukemia and was in the middle of her fight. So between those two things happening, um, I then uh, coordinated an event at our store where the HLA registry came and set up a table and we kind of, you know, encouraged all of our customers to go over, talk to them, get educated. And so myself went over, I swabbed my cheeks, um, handed in my little swab, and uh, that was kind of the beginning. So I was really kind of brought up in a home where service and giving and helping is is just natural. It's just what we're built to do. That's that's who we are. I really felt like the more I learned, the more I could educate others and then hopefully inspire somebody else to do the same. A, a lot of mixture of emotions. Um, super excited, little nervous, but I think it was more just the awesome responsibility that I had to be able to help someone. Uh, but I think it was more excitement than anything else. When I completed the donation, there was just a lot of pride. <laughs> um, I just was like, okay, I did this, I got it done. I just felt super excited and I wished I could be there to see my recipient receive it. <laughs> Um, but, you know, just praying that, you know, it would, it would take, that was the biggest thing is hoping that it would do what it needed to do. It didn't, it didn't take a lot out of me. You know, I didn't have to take that much time off of work. It didn't, it wasn't anything that I couldn't do for a couple of days. Um, and for me to be uncomfortable for a couple of days for someone to have years with their family, um, it just, it doesn't even compare. So I, I just feel like it is so simple that I don't understand why more people, um, aren't involved. My younger sister joined, uh, soon after I donated, she, uh, ordered her kit at home, swapped her cheeks and sent them in. So I'm super excited to know that my sister's in there as well. So hopefully one day she gets the honor. What I tell people is there's a way of saving someone's life and it's such a rewarding experience and it doesn't require a lot of you.